Albert Einstein, and Isaac Newton, in chemistry, Melvin Calvin, in biology, Charles Darwin, in sociology, Auguste Comte, in math, Blaise Pascal, and in psychology, Simon Freud, and so on. I can name lots of scientists and you could realize that most of them are men. But what about women? Women that have made huge progress across history. If you are thousands of female scientists have gone to university, but society ignores them. And that's why today we are going to talk about Marie-Sophie Germain. Sophie Germain was a French mathematician and philosopher. She was born in Paris, France, in 1776, and left behind a lot of important studies such as the theory of elasticity. Despite initial opposition from her parents and difficulties presented by society, she gained education from books in her father's library, including those by Euler, and from correspondence with famous mathematicians such as Lagrange, Legende, and Gauss. One of the pioneers of elasticity theory, she won the grand prize from the Paris Academy of Science for her essay on the subject. Because of the prejudice against her sex outlined above, she had to overcome a lot of obstacles and hide her female identity by singing under the name of Mr. Leblanc. Sophie Germain prime numbers. A prime number P is a Sophie Germain prime if 2P plus 1 is also a prime number. This is called, because of this, a safe prime. For example, if P equals 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5, and 5 is also a prime. And now we know that it's also a safe prime. If you want to know all the prime numbers, you can click here. And these are. Can you find more? Sophie proved with these investigations for Matt's last theorem. If you don't know what this is, you can click here and you will find a link that will take you to deeper information. Sophie primes are thought to be infinite, but this remains unproven. Yet, the last number that was found had more than 200,000 digits. Sophie Germain primes and safe primes have applications in public key cryptography and primality testing. German and girls were good friends. They never met in person, but they wrote letters, lots of letters, at least 50. Sophie read all his books, and then she started to write him in 1,804. They made great discoveries together, but they didn't really know each other until 1,806, when Sophie stopped writing under the name of Mr. LeBlanc and admitted he was a woman called Sophie. It was this year when Sophie spoke with one of Napoleon's generals to prevent Gauss from being harmed during the attack to Brunswick. Gauss was really grateful and they became really big friends. Another success of Germain was to take part in the French Academy of Sciences. In 1811, Germain takes part in a quiz of the French Academy of Sciences in order to explain the mathematics basics developed by a German mathematician who are working to the study of Ernest Klatny about the elastic surfaces vibrations. If you do want to know anything else about this guy, please click here. After being rejected twice in 1816, she won the quiz, so that became her into the first woman who assisted to the French Academy of Sciences sessions and that put her into a very favorable place between the best mathematicians of history. This academy was created in 1666 during the Lewis XIV Kingdom. Since its creation, this academy has had the mission of to encourage the scientific life, to promote the sciences teaching, to transmit knowledges, international collaborations with Foster, and to have a role in experts and council, as you can see here. Another success of Germain was to take part in the French Academy of Sciences. In 1811, Germain takes part in a quiz of this academy in order to explain the mathematics basics developed by a German mathematician who are working to the study of Ernest Klatny about elastic surfaces vibrations. If you do want to know anything else about this guy, please click here. After being rejected twice, 
In 1816, she won the quiz, so that became her into the first woman who assisted to the French Academy of Sciences sessions, and that put her into a very favorable place among the best mathem mathematicians of the history. This academy was created in 1666 during the Lewis XIV kingdom. Uh, since this creation, this academy has had the mission of to encourage the scientific life, to promote the sciences teaching, to transmit knowledges, international collaboration with Foster, and to have a role in experts and council, as you can see here. Sophie German was working in theory of numbers for many years, but in 1809 she left it apart for a while and she began to research the field of the elasticity theory, owing to the Science Academy of Paris suggested as a matter to get a grand and prestigious prize. Sophie was the only constant because it was a very difficult challenge for mathematicians. She presented a memory in 1811 in which she said that in a point of the surface the elasticity force is proportional to the sum of the main curvatures in that point. Her memory was rejected. She tried once again in 1813 and she was given an honor mention and being helped by Lagrange in 1821 she could publish the research to la théorie de surface elastiques, where she corrected the mistakes found in the previous two. If you want to know more information about the theory of elasticity of Germain, please click here. On June the 2nd of 1831, Sophie Germain died because of breast cancer. She was 55 years old. Two months later, she was going to receive the Doctor Honoris from Göttingen's University, a prize she could never take. On her grave, they write rentis, but if she had been a man, people would have written scientific and mathematician. She was an excellent woman.